Now we want to introduce our panel tonight, the Race for the White House panel. NBC's David Gregory leading the show. The Washington Post's Eugene Robinson, who's an MSNBC political analyst. MSNBC political analyst Patrick Buchanan. And Air America Radio's Rachel Maddow, who's also an MSNBC political analyst. The only one who's not an MSNBC <laughs> political analyst. I turn it over to David Gregory. Chris, thank you very much. Chris and Keith, good evening. This is a lot going on, panel. We have a lot going on. This thing is moving very quickly. Rachel, yeah. the news of the day to really chew on is I was just about to say vice presidential candidate Hillary Clinton because that's what she said on her conference call that she is now open to this. What does that mean? Has the campaign for the number two slot begun? It is bigger than that, I think, because I think that it's a story about Hillary Clinton that is, yes, will she, is she, can she get the vice presidential nominee? Is that her goal at this point? And let us not lose sight of the fact that she apparently is not running for president anymore. Right. And there, that was, that for me at least, has been an open question up until at least yesterday. The aggressive language that we saw from her campaign right through the weekend and everything, if she's now going to pivot and the question at hand is whether she's going to be VP, this is news itself. Let me, let me introduce this for, for, for both of you. There's the idea of the good way to campaign for this, you just said it, the bad way to campaign to be on the number two slot. Joe Klein of Time Magazine had a few items in terms of what she could do tonight to actually position herself. Give an endorsement to Obama tonight. Have the finance team contact the Obama team and say, let's get a big uh, uh, campaign effort started with a big uh, goal in mind, a massive Women for Obama rally, plan uh, to barnstorm the country in those states that Clinton won. Yeah. Does any of that happen? Yes. The bad way to run for the vice presidency is to say, you need to heal the wounds of the primary and my supporters are going to be sore unless you pick me. Come to us. The good way Come to run to for the president's vice presidency is to say, if I'm on the ticket, we win because look how much I can bring us toward the general. General. Looking back right. is a bad way to pick. Does he have to come? Said, but Rachel, you make your point says, that this is just an argument that, that a vote in a primary does not make a vote in the general election right. against the, Obama just mm -hmm. because it was for Hillary Clinton in this instance. That's right. And so Clinton Democratic primary voters can't be the universe over which the, Democrat, the, the general election is going to be fought. I mean, Tim used the analogy that this is like three-person chess. Yeah. I see this as like anarchist soccer. Three teams, two goals. There's <laughs> not People aren't necessarily fighting over the same right. turf here. McCain's got to think about soft Republicans who don't like Bush who might be attracted <laughs> to a young, different, new kind of Democrat. He can't just think about Look, Clinton's, the, the, the Clinton supporters that Obama Jean, can't win. Let's send it all back now to David Gregory and the race for the White House panel with a lot more development to handle. Chris, thanks a lot. We are awaiting the remarks from Senator McCain, who, as Tim Russert suggested, wants to get in this night. He's got a big Democratic audience, Pat Buchanan, and an opportunity to speak uh -huh. to those Hillary Clinton supporters, to those independent voters, to make an argument that he should be considered part of this movement for change. But specifically to the point that Chris was bringing up. Talking about the media, mm -hmm. talking about pundits in Washington, effectively siding with Hillary Clinton. What's he up to? Here's what he's up to. He's talking about pundits and party leaders. By party leaders, read super delegates. Pundits, the media that's been trashing Hillary. What he's doing, he's wiring in, he's plugging in to the resentment that Hillary Clinton's people, the unhappiness, the despair they're going to feel. He's, he's cutting into this idea that she won the popular vote and he won the delegates. The party leaders delivered it, but she was the real nominee. And he's trying to draw these people over and say, in effect, I'm on your side. You were robbed. You are right. I, and it's yeah. a very, very smart thing to do. I, it also helps him with Republicans. You I mean, you can't beat up the, the media hard enough for the Republican <laughs> conservatives who don't like it. But right. I, don't, I don't think that's so much a pitch for Hillary Clinton's Democratic primary supporters to vote for John McCain. This is his pitch, like he said explicitly on Saturday Night Live as part of a joke, I would love it to have both of you on the ballot come November. Why decide? Don't decide after right. the convention. I'd love to be running against He wants against to play the wedge issue. He's keeping them, keep Gene, for keep those of us who know, that we know the experience versus change argument is one that Hillary Clinton tried unsuccessfully against Barack Obama. How does McCain do both. How can he say change is one thing, the wrong kind of change is another. I am experienced change. Can he make that He's argument say, effectively? I'm a reformer. I'm not going to upend anything in this country, but I'm going to tweak everything to make it slightly better. I've been in Washington for 26 years. You know exactly who I am. I don't represent change, but be afraid of right. the kind of change that Obama kind of represents. That's what he says. Yeah. For policy from there. Rachel, one of the questions Rachel? that I think a lot about is, at this particular moment, Obama has just made history, as has been discussed here. Yeah. Tonight, he savors this moment. Does he say to himself, I need her? Or does he say to himself, 
I don't know, doing pretty good so far on my own. I think he says this is not a decision I'm going to be pushed into tonight. And I think that the way Barack Obama wins tonight vis-a-vis -vis Hillary Clinton is for her to become one of the people he's considering in his vice presidential choice. I mean, you look at, uh, we've already seen, so for example, the, the front pages of some of the European papers that are going to come out tomorrow. They don't have Hillary Clinton on the front pages. And that means yeah. that he's winning this case so far. This is a historic moment, not only because of his race, but because it's clinched. And if he gets the spotlight to himself tonight, that's probably the biggest victory he can get out of the we, press coverage. And in fact, we have some breaking news tonight. It has been projected by NBC News. And in fact, Hillary Clinton has won the state of South Dakota, hmm. a state where she oh. and her husband campaigned vigorously, as well as Chelsea Clinton, worked a lot of the small towns. And mm -hmm. uh, those who know the state well beyond Tom Broca had said that, look, this was a difficult thing for Barack Obama. He had to make some choices about going to some swing he states. But he, he was ahead at one point, Pat. But she, she also puts her in the position, it may be too late to say, look, more moderate Democrats who I was this able to give, attract and he was not. This gives her a stronger claim to the, I mean, claim to the nomination. Look, she can't make it so hard that he's got to take her. He can take anybody, but it's looking like she's got a very good case to be on that ticket. This is a way to nudge well, your way into the spotlight. G G a, a couple of points. Comfort. McCain tonight talked about change, that he's the one who can bring change. Mm -hmm. He talked about... Obama not having the judgment, the wrong kind of change. Uh, but as Tim Russert suggested, he and as he talks about distinguishing himself from President Bush, that's not an argument that he can make without some cost among Republicans. Right. He's, he's speaking presumably tonight. He knows who's watching TV tonight. He thinks it's going to be a lot of Democrats watching right. tonight because of what's going on on the Democratic side. He's making essentially his pitch to, to independence tonight, but it was a multifaceted attack on Barack Obama, defining Barack Obama as the person who represents the old ways of government. Right. That's yeah. something coming from John